Hey guys, the objective of this video is to discuss the center of mass and center of rigidity and just get an understanding of what they mean. And then we're going to talk a bit about the combination of center of mass and center of rigidity in a structure. So first of all, the center of mass. The center of mass essentially is where the vertical force acts. So we can, given a formula case, we can say that x bar and y bar is given by the sum of the mass of each component times its x um, to its centroid times by the sum of the mass. For the y, it's the sum of the mass times y times the sum of the mass. Okay, so for our case here, we're looking at our slab. Now for our slab, the center of mass for our structure is gonna be around there in, according to this reference axis. And once again, it's where the vertical force acts. Okay, so I've drawn that in a bit of an um, incline just to show you that it's the vertical force. Now, in our case, um, well, we know that the mass is the area times the depth times the density. Now, because in our slab, the depth of the slab is constant everywhere and the density of the concrete is constant, we can just simplify this formula to just the x bar is equal to the sum of the area times xi times the sum of all the areas and the same thing for the y, where that is meant to be yi, okay? So once again, I've just simplified the sum of the, the um, center of mass formula in terms of areas. Now, just to give you a bit of concept, because we're missing, if it was a square, it'd be in the middle, but because we're missing this little triangle, it's gonna shift a bit up there, okay? And once again, just conceptually, all I want you to really understand is the center of mass is where the vertical force acts through. Now, the center of rigidity. The center of rigidity is a little bit more complex. We're gonna try and understand it. So the center of rigidity is where the lateral force acts through. Okay, the lateral force being a horizontal force. So we need to ask a question.